Hey there folks, this is Lucifer League of Oregon coming back at you with another video. This video, you know, I've been waiting to do this, I've been wanting to do this video for a few weeks now. I just had to wait till a few items came in in the mail. And I have to say to some of my members out there, you guys are lucky sons of bitches because you got to get your hands on some of my material before even I did. And of course, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Black Grimoire and the Satanic Priest's Top Secret Manual. Um, some of you guys managed to get a hold of it in the mail before even my own personal copies came in, so I'm a little bit jealous of you guys. Well, we just got in our copies today here at Firethorn Manor, and I have to say, I am very impressed with what I'm seeing. So, without further ado, you know, going into it, everybody remembers that the Satanic Testament was my original book. This is going to be getting retired and only be released every once in a while um, just for little kicks and giggles. Um, this book is my original book. It is just about 208 pages long and I wrote this 10 years ago. Actually over 10 years ago. I only published it 10 years ago. Uh, in February of 2001, no, not 2001, 2011, um, it's now 2021 here, um, so, you know, when I published this book, I was very proud of myself, I had done something that people had been running around saying that I was never going to be able to do, and what I managed to produce was a volume that was substantially larger than other people's documents that they had put out uh, at that time. Uh, now we have authors who um, are actually putting out volumes on par with this in size. And um, I'm not going to say I was the top quality writer. I mean, there is, reading back through my original manuscript, there was so many typographical errors. But uh, we got them sorted out and everything. And we were able to expand on it, and just this past February, 10 years almost to the day, 10 years to the month, we republished the Satanic Testament Revised and Expanded Edition, and we've got some really great stuff in here. Uh, we have a second testament in here. It has everything that's in this book, uh, also included in this book, and much, much more. So... This is going to be the book moving forward from here on out. So what I put, presented the last time around was I showed on how people could determine if a book was STS canon or not. And this little stamp on the back side right here will tell you if a book is considered part of our canon literature. Now, the sad part is, is my original Satanic Testament is not considered full canon literature because there's no signature mark on the back. The trap bath or trapezoidal baphomet was not in created at the time of that this book was written. So, unfortunately, it never got marked with that. This was pre-STS era. This was like 10 years before we were even up and running in that part, I actually wrote this book uh, when I had first tried to start a satanic organization called the Dark Church of Satan. <laughs> I know, terrible name. But uh, it served its purpose. It taught me a lot. And uh, so, yeah. Um, this book will be leaving the market here very shortly. At all purchase not, it will remain on the market until then. And then it will be getting retired for a while. Um, at some point in time, I may bring it back out for a limited run, but for now, if you want a copy of my original manuscript for the Satanic Testament, go get it now. Now, moving onward, I have published a couple more books, The Companions to the Satanic Testament, so to speak, or at least one companion, but also another book that is key to our clergy. Now, I did not write this book. I need to emphasize that. I adapted it for the Satanic Thulean Society, uh, just to save 
uh, any hassles from any copyright infringements. I did double check and make sure nothing was uh, under copyright and whatnot, so I wasn't going to be plagiarizing or being accused of anything. Even so, uh, this book is only available for limited sales publicly, and it will be going for private for our clergy here very soon, and it will only be available for a few weeks every year to the general public. And uh, what is this book? This book is the Satanic Priest's Top Secret Manual. This book is adapted from the Church of Satan's Grand Master's Handbook, and it is adapted for the Satanic Thulian Society. The Grotto Master's Handbook was the unofficial priesthood manual for Church of Satan, and we adapted it for use here in the Satanic Thulian Society. One thing that we criticize a certain other group about is not having a clergy made and copying many, many excuses for multiple years of why they were not set up properly and whatnot. We all know that they are a political activist group, not an actual religious organization. Um, but one of the reasons why we criticize them is because the format for a clergy has already been made for many generations, or many decades, I should say, in Satanism. And uh, this was one of the materials utilized for it, and we adapted it for ourselves. So we didn't really need to do a whole hell of a lot of work. We just needed to take a look at what was there and reconfigure it for what we needed it to be. And as you can see, this is considered part of our official canon literature. It does have our signature stamp on the back, you know, and yeah. So let's go over this book really quickly. Um, first off, you see this beautiful cover. We nicknamed this jokingly here at Firethorn Manor, the White Grimoire, because we have the Black Grimoire and almost all of our other books are black. We were... We are presently working on another uh, book that we are coining on a working title as the Red Grimoire. So when I designed this with a white cover, Diana was like, why don't you make it white? And I've been asked that a couple times. So it's the White Grimoire. But uh, in truth, it is a manual. It is a handbook that our clergy can utilize to um, help run their little grottos, there are covens, or organizations if they run a bigger organization. This is a book that is meant for them. This will help them in orchestrating things and guiding them through some of the tougher times and whatnot. So some of the things that is found within this book is general administration, public relations, uh, media procedures, leadership skills, strengths and strategies, and suggested activities. This is a great little a handbook and we are very proud to have it as part of our literature. So if you don't have a copy, um, it will be going off the market here within the next couple days. It'll be reserved privately for our clergy um, for next year and uh, it's been for sale for a while now publicly for you know public relations purposes and uh, we will be taking it off the public market here very shortly. So if you don't have a copy of this ordered in, get your copy today before you have to wait another year or become a member of our clergy in order to get a copy of this. Uh, one thing I will say is I love how the cover of this book turned out. Um, you know, It's just the, the white, black, and red just stands out so beautifully. And I just really, really like it. So that is the Satanic Priest's Top Secret Manual. Um, why is it called Top Secret? Well, that's sort of a little joke that goes back to when this was the Grotto Master's Handbook. And inside you get this little blurb right here that said that you would not find Top Secret printed on the cover of this book. Um, even though technically it is a top secret manual. It was just a little reminder of LeBay's uh, statement about the ability to keep a secret. So with a little bit of tongue-in-cheek humor, we put top secret on the cover. And that's how it got that. 
So this is the Satanic Priest Top Secret Manual, adapted from the Church of Satan's Grotto Master's Handbook, um, with all respects to them. And, uh, yeah, you'll find some very interesting articles in here, especially in the back. We have some interesting things in the appendices and a couple a ritual or two back there as well. Just like in almost all of our books, there is at least one or two rituals in it that you can utilize. So, here you go. Moving on. Now, just like the Satanic Testament, the next book I did write, all right, this is The Black Grimoire. Um, just getting everybody a good look at this cover here. Um, probably what I'm, I, I love this cover. I love how things turned out on this book. Um, and of course, you can see on the back, it's a little harder to see because it's all in red, but there is our stamp, so this is official canon. So, the Black Grimoire. Now, what is the Black Grimoire? Now, the Black Grimoire is a segment. It is a very large segment of my personal grimoire. Um, now, my personal grimoire, if you'll excuse me for a quick second. Is right here. So this is my personal grimoire. I have released some pages from this and some photos of this. Now this obviously has a lot more in it than this book. But what this book has is critical to almost any member of our clergy, any member of ours who wants to do rituals. This is a book that is unlike any other satanic book out there. It is an actual grimoire, and it is a grimoire of rituals. It is, it houses all of our main rituals, and this will be getting expanded on as time goes on. Um, so we see here, you know, this beautiful hardcover book. And we move in. We can see a table of contents. And the rituals you will find in here, you will find the Satanic High Mass, which is the event that will be happening tomorrow night, live streamed here from the Black Parlor. Um, you will also find the Evolved High Mass. Now, the Evolved High Mass is an experimental High Mass incorporating in Michael Aquino's work with Anton LaVey's work into a unique High Mass. It is still one of our High Masses. The few times that we have performed it, we have been reported that people preferred the original High Mass. But for other people's sake, because some people do like it, it's in this book. We have a history of Black Masses. This is a section that we go into talking about the overall history of the Black Mass, talking about Levoisin and, uh, or Levacine, I should say, and how she helped create the Black Masses, the history of the Satanic Masses down through the ages and into our modern era. And that's what you'll find there. Um, you'll also find the Black Mass, the Solitary Black Mass, and the Complete Black Mass. Now what the Complete Black Mass, I'm going to touch base on this, is the Complete Black Mass is the Misa Solemnus. Now this Misa Solemnus was written by Wayne West, and it is a, a very sexually charged ritual. It is, Wayne West was a defrocked Catholic priest who had a very extreme hatred for the Catholic Church, and he he wrote out a ritual that was pretty hardcore and is arguably one of the most advanced Black Masses out there. And that is what the complete Black Mass is. There is a lot of elements to that that not even we have. So this is the one Black Mass that we have on book set is way down the line. Um, yeah. Tomorrow we will prob or uh, we will be hosting a Black Mass on Wall Purchase Knock that will be getting live streamed. We don't know if that's going to be just a general Black Mass or a solitary Black Mass like what has been going on for the past two months, but we are expecting to have a few guests for that. 
Um, next, we have the Ritual of Destruction. This takes uh, the Destruction Ritual of Anton LaVey and fully customizes it as its own independent ritual. Um, you can also use the Satanic High Mass to perform Destruction Rituals every month for lesser things. But this is one of the major Destruction Rituals that you can perform. Uh, we also have the All Hallows Mass. Now, there is a video of us doing the All Hallows Mass for this past Halloween. This is a custom ritual, 100% STS original. It is meant for us, and I wrote it, and it is one of the most beautiful rituals I've ever seen and had the privilege of writing. Um, the next is the Ceremony of Ordination. There is also a video of this ritual out that people can see. Um, formed here for our priest Isaac, who it was, it was literally our first official ritual as the Satanic Thulean Society. The next is the Rite of Exorcismus Satanus. Uh, you get three guesses of what that is, and uh, they should all be exorcism. Yes, that is right. The Satanic Thulean Society is one of the few, if not only, actual Satanic organizations that has a legitimate exorcism ritual on the books. And uh, yes, it has been performed in the past. The next ritual is the funeral for satanic familiars or pets. Yes, we actually do have a pet funeral. And it is a very beautiful funeral. We have performed it here at Firethorn Manor, unfortunately, for some of our lovely little furry friends who have passed away. Then we have the Consecrations of a Black House. These are a series of three rituals that were briefly spoken about in the Satanic Testament Revised Edition. Um, and this goes into the three rituals for that, which I will not be discussing here. And then we have Basic about the Author. Now, this book is probably one of the best uses of font chapters that I've ever used and you can see this beautiful font called Blood and Blade um, that I used for chapter heads. Unlike the uh, Satanic Testament, I didn't capitalize the first letter and use a font there, but one thing I love doing is I love working with fonts. That's a personal little love of mine. I think they're really great. So that is the Black Grimoire. Um, again, you it's just this beautiful hardcover book, and fortunately, you know, I'm a little bit jealous of some of you guys out there. You got your hands on it before me, and I'm looking at this now. I'm holding it, and I'm really, really happy to finally see this book in person. And so, again, if you haven't gotten this book, you can find it on Lulu. Uh, it may be going on to Amazon as well. Go out and buy it. This is probably one of the best more books I've seen out there. I know that some people have created ritual books. Here's a little bit of a glimpse of some of the artwork within this book for part of the exorcism. We utilize a little something called the Devil's Toy Box, which we do utilize in the exorcism. And uh, those are sigils and whatnot that are meant to go on it. So that's what I got for you guys today. A great, wonderful look at the entire Satanic Thulean Society's canon and uh, their, its current official canon. And uh, what I'm going to do here is <laughs> all three books on the screen at the same time. The official canon. The Satanic Thulean Society. If you guys have not gotten these books, please go out and buy them. Um, they are well worth the money. And uh, I don't think anybody will have any regrets in getting these wonderful documents. Um, just definitely awesome, awesome books to have in your library. Until next time, tell me what you think in the comments down below. You know how it goes. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that little red button. Come on, please. Subscribe. And uh, I will see everybody tomorrow night for the Satanic High Mass here in Firethorn Manor. 
and we are going to have a blast. If you guys have any questions or whatnot, shoot me a message and we will get to those. Until next time, I'm out of here.